Hey guys, Kerex Tiffy here with another review. This time I'll be reading the Deluxe Loxseed, Kamen Rider Knuckle, and Kurokage set from Kamen Rider Gaiman. This is a premium Bandai starter set for Kamen Rider Knuckle and Kamen Rider Kurokage. So this set includes a few things, two Loxseeds and two faceplates. And as usual, we'll take a look at one half of the set first, and then the other. So, to start, we'll take a look at the Kamen Rider Knuckle half. So the first part of the set is the Kurumi Loxseed, which takes the form of a walnut, and is LS02. This is a Loxseed I haven't covered before on in any of my reviews. Basically just because I didn't have a situation where I felt it was reasonable to. While a few months back I did buy the candy toy version of the Kurumi Loxseed, I didn't have anything to pair it with, so I decided just to not review it and just wait for this version to come out. So, what's interesting about the front of the Loxseed is that, unlike a lot of other Loxseeds, there isn't much metallic paint. The only metallic paint being this gold color down the middle, while the rest of it has this light caramel color and a black border. Now, the typical colors of a Loxseed, and the uh, opening is, the unlocking switch is the type where you slide up, like that. Then switching it on, we got the battle button here. We've got the same sound as the other premium Bandai lock seeds. Well, more specifically, it's the same sounds that you got in the deluxe Dongrian Durian lock seeds. As there are other premium Bandai releases that I'm not really planning to get, but they do have different sounds than that. Then you also have the unlocking sound, where it says its name. And that's it for the Luxie on its own. Then we have the faceplate, which is actually a blank faceplate. And for this, I need a little bit of an explanation. The thing is, with Conrad and Knuckle, he actually was the last writer to be introduced into the show even after the Genesis Riders came in. So at that point, there were no longer any Sengoku drivers which would lock onto a single user and then create a facelift pattern. So instead, he had to use a mass-produced version which all have blank faceplates. And that's kind of unfortunate, just because Knuckle actually has a very interesting design, so it would have been nice to see a faceplate pattern for him. So bring in the uh, Sengoku driver, we can use the two with it. First placing on the faceplate. And for some reason it gives you the rock sound, even though it's blank and so you would think you'd get the default sound, which is the Japanese sound. But yeah, for whatever reason, despite being completely blank, it gives you that sound. Then we can use the uh, Kurumi Loxseed with it. And with that, you can transform into Kamen Rider Knuckle Kurumi Arms. So take a look at the inside of the lock, the lock seed. On the top you have the inside of the walnut. As well as this very pale yellow color. Of clear plastic. And on the bottom we have the same uh, clear plastic color. As well as one of uh, his arms weapons. Or one of his pair of arms weapons called the Kurumi Bombers, which are a pair of boxing gloves. So then we can do his three belt finishers. First, Kurumi Squash. Kurumi Olay. And Kurumi Sparking.
Then you can take it off the belt. And use it with the Musa Saber. And the follow-up attack. And taking it off the Musa Saber. Bring it back in the belt, take out the faceplate, and put on the Genesis Core. So we can get the bonus sound out of the Creamy Loxied. So just wait a few seconds. And so next we have the Kamen Rider Knuckle half of the set, or rather, the Kamen Rider Kurokage half. So first up is the Matsuboku Relox Seed, which is LS01 like before. And so it's got the same details as the Gajapon Lock Seed I looked at earlier in the year. The same nice metallic bronze paint, surrounded by a black with the pine cone pattern to it. <coughs> With the pinecone pattern to it. Sorry about that, my throat got a little rough. This one has the unlocking switch where you push it back, like so. And then the rest of it is the same as normal. So, switching on, we get the confirmation sound. Then we got the bell sounds. And then the unlocking sound. And then we have the Kamen Rider Kurokage faceplate, which doesn't really have any kind of uh, real color to it. It has a slight aura to it. And then Kurokage's face with a rainbow visor. And so now we can use the Matsuboku Reloxid and Knuckle Kurokage faceplate with the single driver. Sorry for mixing up the names, they just both start with K. So putting on the faceplate, the sounds don't change because I use the, the default sound. So now using the lock seed. Doing that again. And with that, you transform into Kamen Rider Kurokage Matsubokuri Arms. And so with this, we've got the inside, which has this brownish orange color of the clear plastic inside the pine cone, and then the Kage Matsu on the bottom. And this one also has a white light, but with this color plastic, it actually illuminates the plastic color. Unlike with the Kurumi Loxied, where because the clear plastic is such a light color, it basically just kind of overpowers that color. So then we have the three belt finishers. Matsubokuri Squash. Matsubokuri Ole. And Matsubokuri Sparking. We'll take it off the belt. Off. 
And use it with the uh, Musou Saber. And remove it from the saber. And use it with the Genesis quarter. And get the bonus sound. And of course, you can also do, use the two in combination with each other. Just like so. And we also switch them around. And then just take them both off. Ooh. So overall, this is another really nice set. Though getting to the end of this, a little complaint I have is the way they paired up these lock seeds, having uh, Bravo and uh, and Bravo and Greon in one set, while Knuckle and Kurokaya are in the other. The thing about that is that it's a little bit weird just because of the way the show went. Because when uh, Comrade Greenon and Comrade Kurokaya were first introduced, it was in the same episode, and they basically were battle partners. And then the thing about Knuckle and Kurokaya is well, rather about Bravo and Knuckle is that, you know, they both use the rock music to them. And they're both on the stronger side compared to Dongri and Kurokage, compared to Greenon and Kurokage, who are, who were basically some of the weaker writers in the show. But with these being released later on and being announced later on, the thing is that it kind of changed. Because at that point in the show, Bravo basically took Green on as his apprentice. So at that point, it made sense to, p to pair them up, even if it didn't initially. And as for Knuckle and Kurokage, Kurokage's user was eventually killed in the show, and so he is directly replaced by Kurokage Troopers, who also used the... Uh, Mass produced belt. So, in that sense, it makes sense for Knuckle and Krokai to be paired together. But it really would have been nice if both these sets were retail releases and the first set had been Greenon and Kurokai, while well, the second set was Brava and Knuckle. Although, admittedly, it would have made sense also if they had introduced Knuckle a little bit earlier in the show. That way, he could have gotten a proper faceplate. But overall, if you're a fan of Conrad Nickel or Conrad Kurokage, or both of them, then this is definitely a set I can recommend picking up. Because while there was a Gashapon version of the Masboku Reloxid, which had the clear plastic to it, the only other version of the uh, Kurumi Reloxid released was Candy Toys, so it had, you know, the solid uh, colored plastic. Which doesn't really look as good as the clear plastic. Of course, you also get the bonus sounds, like the improved battle game sounds, as well as the charge and power sounds for use with the weapons. So overall, I can highly recommend this set. 
So thanks for watching. Please rate, comment, subscribe, and share my channel for more videos. And for now, this is KRX50, riding off.